Hey everybody, this is Bar Nothing. I uh, promised to make some tutorials on how to use the website, so we'll take a shot at uh, the biggest question I've been asked, and that's how to add pictures to the website. <coughs> Two methods, and uh, when I recorded these, I actually uh, recorded the part you'll see first uh, as an afterthought. Uh, but we'll start off with the easiest method, uh, which is to just attach a picture directly to a forum post. Um, problem with this uh, method being is, um, you know, it's it's uh, hard to find these pictures. You know, as the posts start to get buried in there, uh, you are limited to four pictures per post. Um, but there are times when you know you just want to post an image very specific to. Uh, the, the topic you're writing and that's fine. If you're wanting to add uh, uh, pictures of a little more importance that uh, you know you want to possibly reference outside the site and point people to, um, you know, pictures that add value to our history, um, you'll want to use the media gallery, uh, create photo albums, um, just adds more flexibility to what we can do with the pictures and makes them easier to uh, find for future reference. Um, but the first method again is uh, a quick and easy way if you just need to get a picture on the site. Um, so with that I'll start these two videos and like I said they're in reverse order so uh, disregard uh, anything that seems a little confusing uh, from that aspect. You know the photo album is fine you know, if we want to save pictures uh, for long term or sign them uh, to a specific event, something of that nature. There are going to be times when you just simply want to attach a picture uh, to a forum post. And there's a simpler way to do that. Let me show that to you real quick. Uh, if I go into general discussion and I want to create a new topic. And we'll just call it test topic. Um, and I want everybody to see something. I can go down here <coughs> below uh, the text box and where it says attachments and other options, I'm going to open that up and there's some options we can do when we're creating a post. Um, you can obviously uh, read some of these for yourself but you can notify yourself for replies, um, return to this topic when you're done posting it, etc, etc. You'll figure those out, those are all pretty self-explanatory. Announce topic, I don't know if everyone has the ability to do that, but uh, I believe all the officers can announce the topic, uh, which basically pushes it out to email uh, to our members, and you have an option box there to select which members will get an email when you post the topic. Um, I believe we'll probably reserve that for more important announcements, uh, things that we need to push out to everyone. Um, but what you're really looking at here, uh, when I open this up, is attach you can attach up to uh, four files um, to a post. There's an image. Um, I can clear it, get rid of it. Um, I can click more attachments to add another. So if I want to add two pictures, um, I can continue to do that. Like I said, uh, I believe I've given it the ability to add up to four pictures directly to a post. Um, and it tells you the file types that you're allowed to do this with. Uh, restrictions, four per post, maximum size, uh, two megabytes. Uh, so I can attach pictures that way. And let me show you what that looks like when I do that. I'll go ahead and click post. It's uploading the file, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. Um, and I come here to test topic that I just created. And I open that up. And you can see that the pictures are here in a thumbnail form. You can click on those pictures. Uh, they'll open up a separate window. Uh, you can close that window. It's just another way to, to add pictures. Um, the problem with this being, um, you know, there are pictures the only place you find them is attached specifically to this post. Uh, so if the pictures pertain to the, to what you're posting, that's great. Otherwise, uh, you know, they'll tend to get lost. Um, you know, we'll fill our server up with pictures that are really. Uh, you know, hard to find and use if we ever want to reference them or if people are looking uh, you know, looking for pictures uh, unless they know exactly where to find them uh, they're not going to find them but it is uh, a good option if you want to uh, post an example of something very specific uh, a fast and dirty way to, to attach a picture so. or 
which is uh, the media gallery uh, you find over here in navigation uh, this is where we can upload photographs uh, videos you can also link it to YouTube videos um, first thing you always want to do is uh, make sure that you're logged in uh, if not this will be a login box here that you fill in with your username and password uh, once you're logged in you're going to come down here we're going to go to the media gallery and you'll see something like this uh, of course I already have several albums on here uh, but most people are going to be starting from scratch and will not um, but and it's a little hard to see these due to the color but uh, you're looking for this one here where it says my albums the first thing you're going to need to do before you can add any photographs is to um, have at least one album uh, you can create multiple albums to organize your your photographs however you want uh, as you can see I've created albums uh, for different events um, or different topics I also have some here where I keep images that we use on the website um, just real quickly I'm going to pop one of these open so that we can take a look at uh, at the screen here when we're inside an album um, you know once you've created an album uh, they'll be stored within the folder here uh, as we open one up um, we get the default view of it we can zoom that um, make it larger. Um, you see here where it says details um, if we go to that we'll see details of that photo um, obviously here's the photo here are some details uh, you can look at um, we've got a embedding code this is used to uh, display the images in other places in the site like if you're going to create a uh, discussion thread or a post and want to show this image we'll get into that a little more later um, here's HTML embed code this would be if you were building a web page you could simply copy and paste this and it would put the proper HTML code in there to display the image um, the one we'll probably use most often or more often is this one here direct link and this is simply the URL uh, where this image rests at so you can use this to uh, copy the picture uh, into uh, an email or websites and people would have a link to go right to the picture and see it um, but let's uh, let's back up here let's go back to my albums uh, like I said the first thing you need to do is actually create an album um, and when you're in my albums you'll see this right here where it says new album and we'll click on that and that brings us to a screen here and basically it's asking us for the information about our album uh, first thing is we want to name it you know you could name it a uh, date name of event whatever is uh, appropriate we'll call this one uh, 9 today's the 21st 9.21.13 test album and of course it lists me as the owner of the album um, you know, if I wanted, and I'm not sure everyone will have this as a, the webmaster. I have uh, uh, all the control features, but uh, we could set this as a featured album, which basically just would put it at the top of the list when people go to the page. Here, if we want to enter a, a description of the album, you know, we could do that. And if we want a specific picture. Uh, to be the icon for the album um, we could pick one out here um, at first it may show up looking like a folder but uh, once it has a chance to process it it will actually show a, a picture um, as the folder for the album uh, it's not required you do that we can control where this album appears uh, for example um, I could make it appear before or after um, any of the other folders I've already created or I could make it a subfolder where it says child of for example um, I have a folder in here for uh, the Dre ride we did a couple weeks ago in Montpelier if I wanted to make this a, a subfolder of that I would pick child of 
and then uh, this folder here, Dre's right, or it shows me other folders. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to uh, just leave it here where it's defaulted before. It's not that critical. And this, I believe, should only show albums, your albums. It won't show the other members' albums. And if we have a preference how we want pictures sorted within it, we have some choices there by date or ID number or the title of the picture, etc. Again, most people will just uh, leave that um, as the default. Um, normal view and file stack view, you can experiment with that and see what you like. You can always come back in and edit this information. Um, we'll put that at normal view. We can control who's able to see um, the stuff we put in this album. And uh, by default, you probably want to come down and check all. That means uh, anybody that comes to our site can see these pictures. If for some reason the pictures uh, are, are things you want to regulate, we can uh, untick them. Uh, perhaps we'll only want uh, uh, officers to see it. We could unclick everything but officers. Or if we just want specific officers to see it, we would pick, uh, say, a chapter president, vice president. Uh, but again, uh, we want to check all. Or you can also add more details to who can see it uh, by by using specific member names. Um, I don't see us having a need for that uh, too often either. Uh, remember anything you do put in here um, as administrator of the site, I'll be able to see it regardless. So uh, keep that in mind. You can password protect it as well. Um, most of these things are just animation features, which we'll leave at default. Um, you know, they sound neat, but uh, the software is not really that advanced, so you're not really gaining much by uh, playing with much of these. Um, so anyway, I've basically the only information you really need to get this done is, is to name the album, um, again, and set the privacy, and come down here and click Submit toward the bottom. What this is going to do, this is going to create the folder. So I now have an album, 921 whoops, I screwed up the name there, 13 test album, and I can edit that by clicking edit and fix the name and come back down here and submit it again okay so I've got my 921.13 test album I have some options um, I can add an item to this album which when I click this uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to open up a box um, where I'm going to add an item, typically a picture. I could add a title to the picture if I choose to. Um, if not, it will just uh, n default name it, whatever the file name is. If I want to add some description to the picture, I can do that as well. Um, here's where I'm going to browse for file to upload. And I'll open that. I'm going to go to Pictures. And I have a folder here um, for this. And I'll pick my picture. And this is just a uh, random picture from Chad Clements, right? And I could type in again as much detail as I wanted to. Um, you'll see this down here rather than choosing a file to upload it's saying or embed a URL and that's typically if you had a YouTube video uh, but you wanted to capture it on our site you would uh, just copy in the URL for that video instead of trying to upload a file if you want to add keywords uh, we could you know to make these things more searchable uh, but that's starting to get a little more advanced than uh, I think our intentions are here um, and you have the option to use this file as a thumbnail um, so if you're sending a local file um, you can pick a picture uh, actually I'm not sure what that does to be honest with you it looks like you can pick a different picture to be the thumbnail for your file um, if not the picture itself shows up which makes a lot more sense but anyway I've selected a file named it um, 
that's really about all there is to it. I'm going to click submit and it'll take a while for this picture to upload and uh, there is a size limit on files you can upload so you may get a message that says files too large to upload. Uh, the website will try to resize it um, so that it fits so just uh, be patient watch it you know sometimes this is a slow process depending on your connection speed and the size of the image um, but regardless of that uh, have a little patience and uh, it should pop up and show up for you um, so here's a picture I've uploaded you know, I can click on it zoom in on it make sure it's uh, what I wanted and you can tell we're on the detail page again where we were at earlier uh, here's the code for uh, posting it inside the site somewhere in a, in a thread the uh, HTML to, to put it into a website or say a newsletter um, or the direct link that's just a, a link to the picture if you want to uh, use that okay we have another option um, well, I'll tell you what while I'm here you also have some options here they're a little hard to see but uh, if you see an image that's inappropriate you can report it uh, if you wanted to edit something about this image, um, you know, what you put as a title or, or description, you can edit it. You can delete the, the image altogether. Um, you can download these images. Um, if you're on a page, uh, if you're in an album, you can download an entire album. It will put them in a zip file. Or you can download individual pictures or files. Um, not sure move. I haven't used that, but I'm assuming that means I could move the, the picture to a different album if I wanted to or I have the option um, to unapprove a file uh, right now I have uh, these things set up to auto approve so if you add a, a picture we're assuming you're doing it in good taste and, and we're going to approve it but I would have the ability to unapprove it uh, if it seemed uh, unfit for what our purpose is here so anyway that's the basics of uploading a single photo I'm going to go back to my albums um, Again, you know, I could create another album, uh, or I could work within the uh, album I just made, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to this test album, um, and right now I see I have one picture in there. So I could add another item here, or I could mass download. If I had mold pictures, I could mass download all of them in there. Um, what I want to do is mass upload. I want to upload a whole folder of uh, pictures into this one album. So do a little head work uh, ahead of time. Uh, you know, get the pictures that you want included in the folder all in one place. I can click Mass Upload. And that's going to take me to a, a little bit different looking page here. And it tells me a little bit about the image sizes that are allowed, video sizes, etc. Again, the site will try to, uh, to resize them if they're too big. So give it a chance sometimes if you're having trouble. If, uh, if it won't accept it, obviously you're going to need to go back and, and uh, save the picture down uh, to a more acceptable size. Here are the audio file types and video file types that, that the site will uh, recognize and, and take, along with documents. We can upload uh, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, uh, spreadsheets, uh, PDF files. So uh, first thing you do, step one is sort order. You, know, you can sort them by date, size, or file name. Um, second step is to select the file. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go back to my pictures that I have set up in a folder here. I want to add all these under the same album, so I'm going to select all of them. Uh, click Open. And here it's showing me a list of the files. Um, you can see I never bothered to name the files, but uh, and then I'm going to click Upload. And it should show you the progress of your uploads. And as it's doing that, you see I now have uh, little boxes here where I could go in if I wanted to title them or type in uh, something about them. I could do that uh, now before I submit them. I can always go back and do it after I submit them. Um, I'm just going to watch this. Uh, you know, my progress is 100%. I'm done. Um, they're uploaded. They're just waiting for me to come down to the bottom and submit them. Which I'm going to do now. I hit submit. And I now have an album with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 photos in it. 
and that is uh, pretty much it. I go through these. Um, again, I can, I can set this up. I just want to kind of browse through them uh, with a slideshow. I can do that. Or if I want to zoom in on a particular photo, I can do that. Um, again, it's not the greatest uh, photo album software, but it's uh, the freest one I could find uh, to, that's compatible with our website here at the moment. So till we uh, get to a point where we maybe have a working budget for a website, uh, this is what we have. Um, let's go in. I want to show you a couple more things here real quick. Um, I'm going to go into a picture. I'm going to go to details. And that will take me to a detail page for that picture. And again, I've got my uh, my BBC embed code. BBC stands for bulletin board code. Uh, most of your bulletin board softwares like like ours, which is Simple Machines, um, th there's just a whole host of them. Most of the forums that you see out there are based on some type of uh, bulletin board code. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about that. I'm going to have to make my screen just a little bit wider here. Um, this BBC embed code, there's a little question mark here at the end that shows you a, a little bit about how to use that code, a little help box. Um, so here's an example if I wanted that picture to show up in a thread in, in the forum. Uh, this is only within our own forum. Um, I would use a code like this. And this goes through and tells you what the different um, values are. And that's really getting a little advanced. Um, it's just as easy sometimes uh, to come in and just copy this direct link. And let's say, for example, I want to uh, use this particular picture in a post. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to our forum. And I'm going to pick a category under which I want to create a new post. And we'll just do it under uh, Open Discussion Board, because I'm going to delete this when I'm done. Uh, right now you can see there's w one topic. Uh, I'm going to create a new topic. And we'll call this Picture Demonstration. Okay. When I type, uh, when I create a post, um, I'm basically, you know, typing information. And if I save that now, it would just simply appear as, you know, just plain text with no formatting. Um, and here's where it gets a little confusing for people who are not uh, used to using a, a bulletin board uh, like this. Is let's say I want this in bold text, and I come up and click bold. You'll see it's putting. Uh, these tags at each end of this text and that's BBC code that's telling um, the software to make this text bold uh, likewise if I were to do that and highlight it and I say I want it centered I will do that and it, it's similar to HTML um, a little more simple uh, language uh, but it takes a while to get comfortable but once you understand it, it it's pretty straightforward but um, to get back to our picture I have a little icon here of a picture. You can say it says insert image. So when I click that, you know, there's all I get. Most people are clicking that and expect them to ask them for an image, etc. Um, it's not. It's just saying an image. And what that's looking for is a URL of an image that exists on the internet. It could be on Photo Bucket. It could be on another website, uh, or it could be in our own photo gallery. Remember, I copied the um, URL. So I'm going to paste that. Oops, actually I have to get it here. Hang on a second. Let's go back, open that in a new tab. Go to my test album. Uh, get my picture. And again, if this were on Photo Bucket, I'd be doing the same process. There's my direct link. That's the URL of that image. I'm going to Control C, copy it. Uh, go back to my page between the uh, BBC code and paste it. So I've now uh, created a post that should have that picture. I can preview it if I wish to. 
and there's what it looks like. And you can see that picture looks um, a little smaller there, I think, uh, maybe resized. Let me just go ahead and post this as an actual post uh, picture demonstration. Okay, so there's our post. You notice uh, my cursor moves to a hyperlink. What that's doing is the website is resizing that picture um, for a thumbnail. If you click on it, you can actually open the full-size picture. And it will do the same thing again regardless of where that picture is stored at on the internet. Uh, just bring the URL and copy it. So, Don't know if that was uh, simple or complicated, but it is kind of what it is. Uh, get some feedback on this uh, tutorial. If, if people don't understand it, uh, maybe I'll rethink, you know, write out uh, how to explain it and, and do a little more polished uh, explanation. But that's uh, off the cuff. That's uh, how to upload photos and, and utilize them in the site. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks again.